Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your boy Umzati Sinyati. Today we are here at the ZITF 2025. We want to tour the place, just walk around, see the exhibitions and get to learn what we didn't know prior. So please do join us as we tour the ZITF 2025. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share this video. Let's go.
say, indigenous Zimbabwean cattle that um, have been here for 200 years. They came originally from South Africa with King Mzilligaisa, who came up here and subjugated a lot of tribes on the way here and brought the cattle with him. And then his son Lobengula carried on with them and then during his reign they when he went away they dispersed to the very very harsh and climate environments in, in the country okay. and then somebody called John Brownlee in 1960 um, realized that there was great value to the uh, corny cows so they started building up the herd and that's how it really started to get Right. And um, that's why they call them Nkoni here and not Nguni. Okay. They're called Nguni, but they basically originate from the Nguni. Uh, oh, Nguni so in South Africa they are called Nguni. In South Africa they're called Nguni. In Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe they're called Nkoni. Nguni. 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 Yeah. Okay. How hardy are they? Very hardy. They, they are very drought resistant. When I say drought resistant, um, over the last big drought, I think three years ago, um, we lost no cattle. Okay. But other breeders with exotic breeds, there's one I know of that lost 60 head of cattle in this drought. So they also are able to survive because they browse. They don't just eat grass, they also eat the leaves of trees. And they tick resistant. All right. So they resist ticks. Um, and therefore they don't get the tick-borne diseases as much oh. as exotic breeds. Okay. Um, yeah. And then their mothering capabilities, are they good mothers? They are the mother of Africa. <laughs> oh, great, great. They are. Yeah. They, they are the best mothering um, breed that you can get. All right. So um, they are very fertile. Uh -huh. Um, they're able to maintain the condition. That's why they, they, you, very seldom do you will, will you, will they miss a cycle? So every year you on cow gives you a cow. Ninety, they had a ninety-six percent calving rate. rate. Oh, um, ninety-six. Ninety-six. Um, uh, after the drought, even after the drought, after the drought. even after the drought, yeah. So. So, is there an association? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. Yeah. the Corny Association. We will give you the flyers for the Corny Association. So, since I'm keeping Corny Cows in my piece, yeah. Yeah. how do I become part of the organization? Oh, it's, it's in the brochure. It's in the brochure, <laughs> the whole process of becoming a, a member of the association. Okay, so do you need to come and check my cows, my cattle? Um, I think you're going to have to talk to Troy about that. Oh, all right. Troy, <laughs> can we go move on to him? <laughs> Troy, Troy is the owner of these cattle, uh -huh. and uh, he's got a bit of a sore throat, so don't talk too long to him. Oh, okay. He's the man who knows how to join the association. Hey, you want to join the association? What's what association? Yes, Corny. Corny. Corny Association. Okay, hey, leave your details, and then we'll get hold of you, and then we'll send you the forms. Oh, okay. I mean, it's uh, $20 a year for. Twenty dollars just for a, as a farmer. Yeah. Fifty dollars if you if you're running a pedigree. Oh, so no, I think we're going to leave our names. Yes, please do. Oh, or yeah, take, I'll take we'll take the car oh, and then okay. send me a WhatsApp and then I'll send you all the necessary details. Oh, so. I think that would be the easiest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Ramelo lag. Ein Bier für den Bier, ein Bier. Da wird jedes Ding sein. Wo ist man? Ja. Wer reicht hier? Wer eigentlich? Initially, we used to have uh, these uh, drones as with upper blades on. So now we now have uh, which have got uh, dual blades. This these blades below here help stabilize and also push the the chemical down. Okay. Like when when it is sprayed out, this one will be concentrating on on flight. Then this one is pushing the chemicals down. This one will so, be drawing. Yes. Then yes. Then it's pushing this down to reduce drift. 
of the chemical going away. Then uh, here we have got a battery which we put here. It will be uh, uh, about 15 minute light battery which we put here. It's a uh, lithium ion battery. And uh, this uh, has got what we call an, an anti an anti crash set. Oh, one, two, and that one, the, the third one. We use this to coordinate this whole drone so that when it is at least a meter or two meters away from uh, a tree or any surface, it senses and tells you that there is, there is now going to be a potential crash. Then it stops. And at a given time, when the liquid goes down as well, that same uh, function it has got a second function whereby it has got a return to home setup. Like when it's flying and the chemical is done, then it automatically returns to where it has taken off. Then we refuel, then it goes back. So what we have done with the batteries, we have uh, had these intelligent batteries which we have set that every time when it's around 20%, then it also returns home to so that we, we change those batteries. So you, it can happen over time that you, it will just be coming back. You won't be holding the controller to just be coming after all the settings. So it can finish even 20 hectares while it's coming back either for a refill or for a batch. So Which means uh, someone has to be alert on the yes, uh, any yes. place so that they do the refilling. Right. What we've just uh, also realized is uh, it's an Android system which links with the controller, it's more like a big phone like this. Then we also realize that when you have got a, a smartphone like yours, you can link the Android controller to your smartphone as well. So that even when you are busy, let's say you've gone to the bathroom or something, it's the phone which you say now, the, the drone is coming back, rush. So these are some functions that we are also discovering now. But we now have the T55, T75, which have come on the market. Uh, the only difference is the load capacity and uh, the, the battery flight time. Yes. That's what I how, how long does it take to it the battery itself? <laughs> very, very possible. So, very, so very possible. How, how long does it, uh, this battery last? 15, around 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yes. Or okay. one okay. Five, then yes. How, um, how many hectares does it cover when it's full? It now depends with uh, your application rate. Okay. You realize some chemicals, they say 200 liters, uh, you, you put 5 liters and 200 liter drums. Oh, and yeah. But now what happens with this, it reduces now. Uh, or it increases the hectares that you're going to spray mm -hmm. because there is more of precision application. So oh, this yeah. tank is yes. uh, how many? Okay, okay. 40 liters. 40. Yes. 40. 40. Four zero. Yes. Four zero. Okay. Yes. Oh, so sometimes where you're told uh, 200 liters per hectare, you may go three hectares with the 200 liters. Yeah. Yeah. So it's safety is a bit uh, efficient. Very efficient. Yeah. And also when we come to issues of gender, it uh, doesn't select male or female. Mm -hmm. She can just be operating it, <laughs> yeah. you know, when she's on the ground. And those who have been uh, carrying those nap napsack sprayers, what happens is that they were having chemicals uh, yeah, splashing on their back. And all back. That. So this is another. How, how much is this drone uh, for? It is, the price has gone down. It's, I think it's around 19,000 US. 19,000? 9 to 10,000. 9 to 10,000. Yeah. 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 Yeah.